You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, Will, let's uh, send, uh, let's send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the enemy. But she's a stupid person. And I used to have, I'd, I'd have meetings with a lot of people and she always wanted to go to war with people. It's General Mark Milley, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, who Donald Trump also threatened with execution because he disagreed with Donald Trump on January the 6th. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. I want to say one thing about the tie to Ukraine, if I may. So foreign policy experience is not the same as foreign policy wisdom. I want everybody at home to know that I was the first person to say we need a reasonable peace deal in Ukraine. Now a lot of the neocons are quietly coming along to that position, with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden, who still support this, what I believe is pointless war in Ukraine. And I think those with foreign policy experience, one thing that Joe Biden and Nikki Haley have in common is that neither of them could even state for you three provinces in eastern Ukraine that they want to send our troops to actually fight for. Look at that. This is what I want people to understand. These people have, I mean, she has no idea what the hell the names of those provinces are, but she wants to send our sons and daughters and our troops and our military equipment to go fight it. So reject this myth that they've been selling you, that somebody had a cup of coffee stint at the UN and then makes eight million bucks after, has real foreign policy experience. It takes an outsider to see this through. Look at the blank expression. She doesn't know the names of the provinces that she wants to actually fight for. And he's one of the highest uh, decorated, most highly decorated soldiers. And certainly that you see in other countries. And by the way, now we're getting involved again in the Middle East. Look what's happening. You're getting involved. Here we go again with the Middle East. We spent $9 trillion, killed millions of people, including our side, their side, millions of people. $9 trillion. You know what we got? Nothing. Nothing. You got death. You got blood. You got nothing. And it just, we spent our blood and our treasure, as they say. Our blood and our treasure. And our blood is more important than our treasure.